here comes the money. You're now listening to the Gambling with Gold podcast with Jason Gold. Presented by Champions Round. Thursday night football, the Jacksonville Jaguars at the New York Jets. Line right now at DraftKings, we are looking at the Jets minus two and a half and the total at 36 and a half. We are expecting a lot of weather in this game. Anyone on the Northeast or even in the Midwest knows at this point, the weather this weekend is going to be absolutely terrible. All the flights are already getting canceled, including Steph's. We are in a world of hurt right now. This game will be played. We are looking at 15 to 30 mile an hour winds. We are looking at some heavy rain. It is going to be slipping and sliding all over there. What do you think about this matchup, Steph? Man, the weather, I try not to let the weather impact my thoughts on this game. I really want to go with the Jags here. They've been very good against the spread these last six weeks. I think we talked with this, I feel like, for weeks in the beginning. We're like, they're going to get, they're going to heat up. They're going to heat up. And they were actually doing that now. Um, I think that they can continue this, too. And I think against the Jets, they can see success. Um, I know that this defense has been pretty pretty strong and you know they're only allowing the fifth lowest success rate to opposing passing attacks which we saw what Lawrence was doing in his development he found himself a nice little buddy there with Evan Ingram makes me sick to see after all like the sleepless nights that this man has caused me happy for him um but I I think I lean the Jags here I uh, I'm torn because I mm-hmm. do think that the right play here is the Jags. They just came off this win versus the Cowboys. Trevor Lawrence is playing like a top five quarterback in the NFL right mm-hmm. now. Yes, you heard me. A top five quarterback in the NFL. That's Look at all of his advanced measures. The guy has been absolutely electric over the past couple mm-hmm. weeks, ever since that game in Detroit. I think that he's he's ascending. He's becoming who we thought he was going to be when he was drafted. Throw out that rookie year because it was Urban Meyer and a bunch of dog shit. Mm -hmm. Let's consider this to be his rookie year. And his trajectory looks a lot like my guy, Justin Herbert, at this point. Finally has a good coach. Doug Peterson's drawing it up for him right. He's got some receivers. He's making Zay Jones look like a goddamn star out there. So, yes, I want to bet the Jaguars, too. The Jets just lost at home to the Detroit Mm -hmm. Lions in a game that they should not have lost, a game which they cost me a lot of money. It's Zach Wilson in the fucking rain. In what world do I want to bet on Zach Wilson in the fucking rain? That's what you got to do. That's I, what you got to do. I think That's you're right. I, I didn't want to do it, okay? I don't want to do it because I know it is the – I know it's not the right – it's not the right choice here. Like, the logical choice is to take the Jags. But, again, as much as we love the Jags and we're excited for the Jags, the Jags will let us down. And they're going to let us down probably against these New York Jets. And the New York Jets freaking owe us some money. So maybe I roll with them again. Well, here's the thing with this game. If the Jaguars' giant advantage is offensively in passing the ball, and this is going to be completely negated based on the fact that there's 15 to 30 mile an hour winds and there's going to be heavy rain, right? So basically, Mm -hmm. do you trust the Jets' defense to be able to stop the running game of the Jaguars? I sure do. The Jets mm-hmm. are great. Look at what they did to Jamal Williams and DeAndre Swift last week. They got yeah. nothing. So, and, and the Lions, I mean, they scored 20 points in the game, but they also had a punt return. Like, they got demolished. And that Lions mm-hmm. offense, we know, is legit, legit. That is mm-hmm. a really, really good offense. This Jets defense is special, really mm-hmm. special. Um, so, I, I think that I got to go with the Jets at minus two and a half. I think I got to go with the under. I mean, Honestly, the game total is so low. Just take the money line minus 135. That'll be my play on the Jets tonight. Mm-hmm. The under, probably, but I don't know. What do you think about the yeah, I feel. Yeah, I feel more comfortable taking the money line if I am going to play the Jets tonight. I just don't necessarily trust them entirely to cover. Um, I think the total – this is where you'll see this across like the slate. A lot of these totals are really low. And I kind of just like want to take the over. I just want to. Like I, I, but I know it's kind of stupid, so I won't end up playing it. But I could see this end up being like just get a little sloppy. Are we overreacting about the wind a little bit? I don't know. Possibly. Um, what is it know, at? Thirty six. Yeah, it's thirty six and a half. The the wind's kind of funky because if it's just gusting, then you can probably play around it. Mm-hmm. But if it's consistent, you're kind of screwed. Um, yeah. Yeah, 36. I'm going to look at the number of bets on it right now. So, um, yeah, 
43% of the bets and mm-hmm. 85% of the money is on the under. No surprise there. Yeah. Total, total yeah. came down from 42 to 37. So everybody's on the under this game. No surprise. All right. There it is. We'll roll with them. All right. Uh, any player prop for Thursday Night Football? I have one off the top. I know that you do too. Maybe a little oh, tight yeah. end action, Steph. What do you think? Oh, yeah. It's tight end. It's a tight end night. It's a tight end Thursday. CJ Uzoma over. Ready? I'm I didn't I'm not making this number up. Like this is not a catch. Over seven and a half receiving yards minus one seventeen. He, I mean, I think he had 41 last week. He goes over this number all the time. Um, I think that he could be someone that Zach Wilson continues to lean on, depending on how much longer they decide that they're gonna play him or whenever Mike White comes back. But I think that number is really low, and I think that you'll see a lot of tight end action from these Jets. Mine is going to be kind of in the same vein. It will be the Jets passing offense, but I'm going to take Zach mm-hmm. Wilson over 190.5 passing yards. I, get I think that people think that this number is going to be so low and may come down even more because of the rain and the wind and then wanting to take the ball out of his hands. It's Michael Carter and Zonovan Knight, all right? And this is not the most potent running offense mm-hmm. in the NFL. Meanwhile, on the other side, Jacksonville Jaguars ranked 32nd in DVOA against the pass, and they're going to be without Trayvon Walker in this game. 190 and a half is really low. So even if you think they're going to take the air out of the ball with Zach Wilson, I still think that they're going to throw the ball enough for him to be able to get over this 190 and a half. Remember, he's been terrible, but go look at how many passing yards the guy's had. The guy th- yeah. throws for 300 a game. He, oh, yeah. I don't know where it comes from. It's a bunch of garbage, but it's still there. He's a big like hero ball guy. Like he gets panicky and just like just yeets it downfield. And it's like, oh, and thank God he does have some talent on the other side of the ball because they do bail him out a lot. You saw him overthrow it. Like it was ridiculous that last game. But then you know, start people start talking. He's not playing that bad. No, Zach Wilson sucks. Like let's be clear. Like he did not play well. But can he get the ball downfield? And does he like to just, for the love of God, just like throw it downfield? He does that sometimes. He absolutely loves it. In fact, you can't get enough of it. Yeah. So hopefully we see a couple of that and hit the 190 and a half over on Thursday night football. <laughs>